Hello everyone, for today's video, I'm just going to show you how I hooked up all the hoses from my pool filter into the pool. Okay, for the filters, you're going to have an A side and a B side. Usually, the A side is going to be on this side right here where the A is and the B is going to be on the other side. So, if you're not sure, you want to check this. You have an A and you have a B right here. This particular filter is actually the best way uh, Wi-Fi filter. So you should be able to schedule this and that's what I like about this. And you notice you're gonna have two hoses that looks like this for this particular uh, model right here. And one of them is short and one of them is long. You want to use the long hose on the A because the short one will connect into another set of holes so that's gonna make that thing longer okay so what you want is the long one goes to your a so basically here you just want to push this thing right here so it has the gasket here make sure that you have that gasket okay so just push this thing in and lock it with this thread and then the other end you just Put it right here make sure that you have this rubber gasket here okay because this thing fell off the uh, packaging when i uh, opened it up so you, you just want to make sure that you have those gasket in place so you don't get any leak and basically you just put this thing in and you can hand tight it so now for the b side you want to make sure you have this gasket okay and just put this thing in and hand tight it. It's gonna come with these two other hoses right here. So these are cheap hoses. In my experience, this thing lasts a good two years. On the third year, it will basically break. So I'm not sure about this, how long this thing lasts. Hopefully it lasts at least three to four years. I'll be happy with it. But this two right here, comes with this one as well so this is your t-connector you have this gasket here and it comes with this clamp right here so let's go ahead and just install this first so let me go to install this you just basically put it right here and push this thing in here okay and just thread it and once you do that you want to install this right here so you see this uh notch right here that goes where the thing is okay so let me go ahead and push it on and after that you want to grab one of your clamp and basically you just put it right here so you can either put it right on top of the gasket to make it tight and but what I usually do is I put it right after it. okay so this part right here I'm not sure why this is not too short but the ones I have before this one's a little longer but anyway I'm just gonna put it right here right after the gasket and, and then I will tighten it okay And I'll just do it on the other side. Okay, so now this part right here goes over here. And the other part goes on the other side. Then all you need to do is just put the clamp in and see right here, this is actually tight already. I don't think it's going to, in my experience, this thing, even if you don't have the clamp, this thing is going to hold on because this is tight enough. You know, I have to like turn it in order for me to push it and pull it out. Okay. But, you know, basically the clamp is just going to make sure this thing is not going to come off if you have the clamp in. Okay.
Okay, so that's how you install the pump and all the hoses with it. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so those two cheap hoses that comes with it goes into the T connector. The T connector goes into the sticker hose that goes to the B side of the pump. And then from the A side on the other side, it goes to the A port right there. Okay. And I hope that you found this video helpful to you. Please help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button. And thank you for watching.